The explanatory variable is what we're trying to use to explain what's happening to the response variable. So in this case, it's whether the subject is a daily diet soda drinker or not. Our response variable is waist circumference increased in inches over the 10 years of the study. So we cannot conclude anything about causation here. This was an observational study. We know this was not an experiment because the subjects were not randomly assigned to drink diet soda or not. So there might be lurking variables that are confounding with diet soda consumption. Maybe many people who drink diet soda on a daily basis think that they can exercise less because they're avoiding the calories of regular soda. This would be a lurking variable that might be associated with increasing waist circumference. The reason lurking variables like this are a problem is because their effect on the response variable is difficult to distinguish from the effect of the explanatory variable. In this case, we don't know if less exercise is causing the waist circumference increase or if it's the diet soda. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.